I'm Brittany Harriet with SCDOT, and right now I'm at the intersection of Wells Highway and Garrison Road in Seneca and Oconee County. Behind me you can see SCDOT trucks coming in with debris and down trees from around the city area. You may remember last Monday on April 13th when there were severe storms across the state and confirmed tornadoes that caused devastation. We will be speaking with the resident maintenance engineer for Oconee County, Randy Russell, who will explain the debris disposal process. We have 150 SCDOT employees helping to bring uh, vegetation debris to this location, such as stumps and limbs and brush and, and logs. We'll go down here and take a closer look at where they're dumping the debris. This location behind me is where we're dumping our vegetation debris. The contractor has a bulldozer and a loader. They're pushing the debris up into piles. The next step in the process, which is happening down the hill from here, is the contractor is grinding the debris into, into uh, mulch with tub grinders. This is the location where the uh, contractor is loading all the vegetation into the tub grinders. It's ground into mulch. The mulch is loaded into the contractor trucks and then hauled to the location where we're, they're storing the mulch. Now back to Brittany. Thank you, Randy, for walking us through that storm debris disposal process. We're now at the location just off SC28 in Wahala where the mulch is being stockpiled for later use. Now crews in Seneca will be out by the sides of the road and on certain closed streets cleaning up debris and down trees for the next several weeks. If you see crews by the side of the road, please be careful, slow down, and use caution. Let them work, let them live.